Hey everyone, it's Nicole Wolf, and we are at the CNE grounds in beautiful downtown Toronto. We are actually at the Northern Comfort Saloon, uh, just tucked in away behind BMO Fields, and I've just had the wonderful experience of listening to a Roots Rock alternative country band right here from Toronto, uh, and I'm going to let them introduce themselves, and then we've got some talking to do. So who am I sitting with here today? Uh, Noel Johnson. Uh, Trevor Crook. Jared Craig. Hi, I'm Nathan. I'm Nathan Crook. And you guys are? Johnson Crook. If you didn't know by the last names, you know now. Uh, these guys are absolutely amazing on stage. Uh, if you haven't had a chance to see them, you know, definitely take a, take a risk, go out and see them. You won't be disappointed. Um, you know, they've just played three days. It's almost a residency, I would say. Three yeah. days back to back here at uh, Northern Comfort Saloon. Um, three sets per day and, uh, you know, a mix of your own music, promoting your, your new album that we're going to talk about, and then some, some great covers as well, So, which is why we're here today. Have you had a chance to check out the sites of the CNE, though, this year? A little bit here and there. Um, I uh, ventured out to get some food. I did not eat crickets, though. <laughs> um, I just, I, I really, I'm, I'm boring. I played it safe. I ate a pizza that cost $6, but it was still amazing. It was yeah. great. <laughs> I was going to ask if anyone tried anything adventurous, this being the place to do it. Food-wise, food wise, I had a bite of the, the hot dog inside of a pickle that's deep fried. Oh. It was actually delicious. Really? Yeah. Interesting. That uh, I might have to swing by and check out. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, now, being here at the CNE, this is the perfect excuse. Um, it was just couple weeks ago that your new album called The Album actually dropped and uh, we reviewed it on Canadian Beats so we'll definitely link that in so folks can get a chance to hear it. Um, how, what's the crowd's reaction been to your new album playing it on stage? Um, it's been great so far. I mean a lot of our, our friends and fans uh, have been hearing these songs for the past in like two years, three years so to actually get copies of it that they can take home has been really special and great and then also just getting our music out there to people who haven't heard it uh, yet has been has been incredible and and having that out in the world now is is awesome now I heard there was a, a really unique and uh, amazing experience for you guys especially for those of you from Manitoba <laughs> um, there was a moment not too long ago in rock the fields um, when your hometown crowd actually sang Minnedoza back to you what was that like let me ask the crook brothers uh, it was crazy I mean so it was kind of like a homecoming mm -hmm. Trevor and I haven't been home to that festival in a while our parents still live there but we uh, we got to play it we ended up playing it twice that night just just as a crowd favorite we uh, the whole time we were in Minnedosa, people sang that song everywhere we went, which was bizarre and also just, just super flattering. Mm -hmm. um, we played it on a houseboat, actually. At one moment, we were riding across the lake on top of this houseboat, playing just some random songs. And then we heard from the crowd, like from, from the beach, mm -hmm. some people singing Minnedosa. Wow. So we actually started playing Minnedosa and rode right up to the shore into this like crazy yeah, party. <laughs> it was amazing. Yeah, we, we also found out that apparently Minidos has been the grad song for the last two years now, wow. which yeah. is which is it's 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 incredible. It's humbling and it, it makes us feel really proud to be from such an amazing place. And it's a great song, you know, and it's definitely put Minidos on the map. That's oh, for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, now you recorded the album actually here in Toronto at Metalworks, and you worked with uh, a wonderful producer, Bill Bell. Now I was reading also that you chose to do a lot of recording live off the floor. And, you know, I just saw your live performance. I can see why you chose that. But specifically, why did you choose to go that route? Uh, well, it was important to us. We've all been involved in other musical projects where the, the live show of the band might not represent what their album or their recorded music is. And, and we really came together as a live band and had played together so much before recording. We didn't want to get stuck in the same uh, position. So with Bill, he seemed to really be on the same page musically mm -hmm. uh, as the rest of us. And going in, we said, we're gonna try to use as little studio production as possible. I mean, of course, we took some opportunities to really make the songs the best versions of themselves, but it was very important to keep it 
something that when people came to hear us live, they wouldn't be disappointed. Absolutely. There's definitely that connection I can see there. Now, when I, uh, when I listened to your album for the review, the one thing that just stuck out to me was holy heck harmonies. Like the, <laughs> you know, and, and I saw it again on stage today. The, the harmonies that you guys have are just phenomenal. But for someone who's never heard your music before, how would you describe it for them? Um, I'd say it's it's uh, definitely in the country roots rock vein of things. Um, you'd say like the southern rock sort of thing too, with uh, throwing back to uh, the Eagles or maybe Tom Petty kind of kind of idea. And um, the harmonies really sort of came naturally with this with this project. Uh, we just got together and just were jamming with each other, and with Nathan and Trevor, the brothers, singing together for so long, and. Uh, in addition to Jared and I uh, playing together and singing together for so long, the four of us all singing together was just a natural fit, and it just the music really just it came out of that mm-hmm. first and foremost. Now, one of the songs um, on your album, Mr. Nobody, actually has a pretty awesome guest cameo on it that kind of came about, about pretty organically. Tell me about that. Who sings with Mr. Nobody? Well, we were lucky. It's a Manitoba guy. If anyone knows the name Tom Cochran, maybe? I don't know. Life is a Highway? Never heard of him. <laughs> Never heard of him. We, uh, <laughs> so our, our producer, Bill, is actually a good friend and uh, plays and records with, with Tom. Mm-hmm. And uh, we were having this band family potluck where like, you know, all of us and our partners got together. We're having food, having some wine, and you know, safe space. We're hanging out. And Bill shows up later at like 11.30 and he's like, hey, I brought a friend of mine. And like Tom Cochran walks into my house. It's like, oh my god, what a, what is going on here? Like, so we ended up having like him jam there that night, and then uh, we had a random gig with him uh, playing the same place as him a week later. And here, Mister Nobody he really liked it, and uh, we're like, well, if you like it so much, why don't you just play on the song? And uh, Bill convinced him, and we convinced him. And I guess it was enough, and he came and played with us. Yeah, it's uh, it definitely you know it could be even a song out of his own playbook. So. Uh, it was a great song to listen to. If you haven't heard it, check out Mr. Nobody. Another one that uh, I want to touch on is Canada to Heartbreak, simply because, um, you know, we've just gone through the Canada 150 celebration, and you guys embraced that fully and had a little competition about that song. So what happened with Canada to Heartbreak? Yeah, we uh, we decided to put it out there to the fans to uh, send in their Cross Canada photos and we took some goofy, goofy pictures of ourselves. And the top, uh, I believe it was five uh, photos, we photoshopped our goofy faces onto their beautiful Canadian landscape pictures <laughs> and made uh, ridiculous postcards out of them and then had uh, the fans vote on which one out of the five was was the best one and everybody ended up winning something but one person uh won a skype uh uh, skype concert which they instead decided that they'd rather just get tickets to rock in the fields because the kid was from minnedosa so uh it was a lot of fun it was ridiculous and it was uh it was a great time and it was just it was great that we could have uh, our song canada heartbreak tie in with uh, canada's 150. and where can fans check out these postcards Oh, they're on our Facebook page. Yeah, if you check out uh, Johnson Crook Band on Facebook, uh, you'll see these these super stupid postcards that we put our stupid, stupid faces on. <laughs> uh, they are wonderful. I've had a little peek at them. Now, you guys have some busy times ahead. Uh, you know, tomorrow morning you're flying off to Nova Scotia for their provincial exhibition. And uh, right after that, you're coming straight back to Ontario for uh, Music in the Fields in Lucknow. Um, busy, busy time for you. It's been a busy summer. What else have you got going on that you might want to share with your fans this summer? Well, actually, that's uh, that's about the closing of our of our summer. Um, going into September, we're going to be out uh, hanging around for the CCMAs in Saskatoon. But other than that, we are we are actually our next Toronto show is October twenty seventh at the Rivoli. So that's going to be a big one. We're going to have a great time there. And other than that, we will see what is to come. But if you want to stay in touch and see what's going on with us, just check us out on our website, johnsoncrook.com, our Facebook page, Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff. And we will keep you in the loop for anything that comes up. 
Amazing. Um, that pretty much ties in my last question, which is what's happening for the rest of the year. I think we've got it pretty much covered. Absolutely. It's uh, it's all about getting out there and doing the live show like you guys want to do and, and uh, connecting with your fans. So we look forward to that. Uh, if I could leave you with one final question, I normally ask a band to give me three words that describe the band. But since there are four of you, I'll give you four words. What four words best describe Johnson Crook? Should we do one word each? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Every, 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 the first person that comes to your mind. Okay. okay, okay. Live. Rock and roll. Pickles. Rad. <laughs> the pickles, I'm not quite sure about. <laughs> I have a feeling there's a story there. <laughs> it's always the drummer. So. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, guys. It's been a pleasure talking to you thank today. You. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. And, uh, you know, we look forward. Hopefully we can get down to that show in Toronto on the 27th of October. But uh, if not, good luck. Best thank of luck. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. We love Canada Beats. This has been Nicole Wolf from Canadian Beats, downtown Toronto at the CNE. And we'll catch you next time.